£30,000. St. Pat's Athletic, Shelburne and Glentoran were all also interested in the player. And I'm delighted to say that Peter joins us now live in our Derry studio. Peter, first of all, uh, your reaction to the move, are, are you happy with it? I'm happy in the upturn. Uh, it's come as a real shock. If someone had told me that last weekend that I'd be playing for Portadown on Saturday, I would have looked at them twice, Like, but, but that's the way it goes in football. Are you happy to be leaving Derry City? Would you rather have stayed there? Well, to be quite honest, I was sort of disappointed the way it came about because uh, I had just recently signed a new contract and uh, I was looking forward to testimonial next year. But uh, Derry seemed to think that they needed finance and for the strength in the squad, so I had a go as an asset. Yeah, you'd signed a new contract. Of course, you captained them to the league title last year. You were a fairly influential player for them. Were you surprised that they let you go? I was surprised, <laughs> yep, definitely. But... Uh, as they say, it's business now, it's not really about football or sentiment. It's, uh, it's down to pounds and pence, and uh, I had to go. Derry's loss is Portadown's gain. You'll probably be straight in this Saturday, I'd imagine. Well, I'd like to think so. Like, uh, I'm looking forward to this new challenge now of Derry's league and uh, a tough game against Crusaders, but I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, and against the champions. Couldn't be a tougher one for exactly. you. Exactly. Bat them in my fire, as they say. OK, Peter, listen, thanks very much indeed for joining us on our...